today I'm coming to you from a place that's close to one of our schools, Churchill School, and it's actually Churchill Park, which is right next to Churchill School. And this little park is maintained by the Glen Ellen Park District. And so they keep track of the trails, put on education programs. And so we're gonna use some of the things that are inside of Churchill Park today to talk to you about engineering, solids and liquids, and introduce you to measurement, which is an important engineering skill that you have to have. So we're gonna talk about what we can measure, how we can measure, and what we can use to measure. Animals enjoy liquids too. So the liquid behind me is a big pond that is at the north end of Churchill Park. And in this pond, you can see some animals actually enjoying this pond. So there's a duck up on the post. In the back, you might be able to see it. There's a great blue heron that's kind of walking around looking for maybe some fish. So scientists actually have to keep studying liquids like this pond to make sure that it's okay for plants and animals that actually rely on it. So one of the ways they do that is by measuring some different things. So it's been super dry lately. So if I measure the water now, it might not have as much water. I could stick a measuring tool in the water or look at the bank and measure where the water is to where the water used to be and compare it. Now, if I'm measuring the difference in water height, I might wanna use inches because it's not gonna be super big to use feet quite yet. If we have lots and lots and lots of dry days, then maybe it might get a little bit bigger. It's your turn to practice. Fill up a glass full of water. Leave it outside. Try to measure the difference in inches each different day to see if you can figure out if you have a lot of evaporation happening, which is when water goes into the air and is not in a cup or in a pond anymore. So that's when water turns into a gas and goes up into the air. So from a liquid to a gas. Another way that measuring helps us is by identifying animals and how old an animal is or how many different animals we have. So behind me, there used to be a running stream, but it's been a little dry. So the stream is just mud now, but in that mud, you can't see it, but there are tiny little prints of raccoons I'm pretty sure I saw a deer print, but I'm not gonna go in there because I don't wanna disrupt all of the plants. So one of the ways to tell if it's lots of different animals or how old the animals are is by measuring. So I use my ruler and I hold it up against those prints that were left in the mud. And that tells me about how old that animal could be. And it might even tell me if it's a boy or a girl animal. So there's lots of things we can find out just by measuring. It's time to talk about how we would practice measuring because scientists measure all the time. We talked about how botanists measure, engineers measure. So if you look at the plant behind me, we can measure in either inches or a foot. And there are 12 inches in one foot. And to think about it, it's not actually the size of your foot. Your foot is different than my foot. So we use a tool called a ruler because a ruler is 12 inches long. Now, I would measure these little leaves in inches if I wanna measure from how long it is. But if I wanna measure how tall this plant is, I would probably use feet. Because if you look at my foot compared to the plant, yeah, we'd probably wanna use feet, not inches. It's your turn. I want you to practice measuring here at Churchill Park. So come to the park, bring your ruler, bring your meter stick, bring your tape measure, bring whatever you want to measure and practice measuring a couple things in inches and a couple things in feet. Maybe like a good scientist, you wanna write down your observations. So you'll write down what you measured and you'll measure how long it is. So if it's in inches, we could say maybe that one of the leaves behind me is three inches and I could put three I-N as an abbreviation. So three inches. And then if I wanna measure some small trees like the one behind me with brown leaves, I can measure in feet and practice that and then say, hmm, tree, you don't have to know what kind of tree it is, but tree and six feet. And feet we can abbreviate to to FT, six FT. 
and be a good scientist. You can measure more than two for each. Go ahead, it's your turn.